guys. So I'm back with another 10 minute, $10 chunky knit blanket tutorial for newborns, uh, newborn prop, photography props. And I'm using the Showstopper Sleepy Sky for this tutorial. Um, it's $9.99 and a lot of times, well lately Hobby Lobby's had yarn at 30% off. So I've been getting it even cheaper, but I'll put a link um, down so you can order it if you want to. A lot of times the stores will be out when I go in there. Okay, so get a good little bit of yarn going. And we're just gonna use this whole skein. So <clears throat> the first thing we're gonna do is make our slip knot. So just put your yarn over like that and then come and then, oops, wrong way. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so just put your yarn over like that. So you've got like a little loop there and then go like that. And then you just pull it through and that's it. Okay. Now this is gonna be a different pattern than the one we did before. So for this pattern, we're gonna have knit, knit, pearl, pearl, knit, knit, pearl, pearl, knit, knit. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Okay, so after we get our slip knot done, we're gonna have to go ahead and cast on. We want these to be about two and a half inches. We don't want them to be a whole lot bigger because then it won't be tight. We're gonna do 10 across. When you pull them through, try to pull them the same way so that you have, so that they look the same. So what I mean by that is like I'm taking my index finger under and then pulling this around. So the tail is going to be that way as I pull it through and not the other way. You just pull it through. That's all you gotta do. You just stick your fingers in. And you pull it through. I have not been counting, so let's see where we're at. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or this is eight, rather. Eight. Nine. Ten. I think. Let's count to make sure, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So this one's actually going to go up that way to start our new row okay okay so now at this point, what you gotta do, since this is up to start the new row, you'll find the second one down, which is right here. And you're just going to pull it through the top. I mean, through from the bottom to the top. These are going to be your knit stitches. So now that we're gonna go over to the purl stitches, we're gonna pull that through the other way. And we're gonna do that two times. If this is your first video um, watching this, you might want to go to my other tutorial where I just knit the whole thing with the knit stitch because I think that um, it'll be easier for you. So anyway, we're going to continue on. So. So now we're gonna pull through. 
bottom, the back, rather. See that? Find your next stitch here. I like my blankets tight. You can make them looser to make it easier for you. And then, see my fingers coming through the back? And we're just gonna pull through there, just like that. So it looks kind of like a, a mess right now, but we're gonna get there, I promise. Um, now that we're gonna go back to the knit stitch, so we're gonna take this yarn and go that way. And pull through. Mommy, a hug. Mommy, a hug. Okay, come give me a hug. trying to make a video okay video mm -hmm. yeah dude yeah dude <laughs> so now we're gonna go back to the knit stitches which are on the top yeah and we're going to <laughs> pull through here. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry, wrong way. Wrong way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have me discombobulated here. So you sit in a bear. Mm-hmm. You're a bear. See so a baby. Mm-hmm. That's bigger, baby mm -hmm. bigger. Ah. Find your next hole and pull through okay and then we're gonna go back to pulling through the back see a caper mm-hmm and oh that's okay shoot you um 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 head head eyes eyes nose nose no, no. Okay. So as I said, this is gonna look like a jumbled mess for a little bit. Yeah. And we are now at the second to last uh. one. Now we're at the last one. Okay, so now we're gonna start on our second row. Oops, my little reflector's falling down. And what we're going to do is just go up one more. Actually, nope. Pull through like this. Nope. That, I had it right the first way. Okay. So we're going to go up one more. These are still knit stitches, remember? And your next one is a knit stitch. Just going to pull it through just like that. Now these are purl stitches. So they're going to go through the front again. So put our hands under, pull through, oops, pulling the wrong one, wrong side, okay, oops, okay, our yarn here make it pretty again okay and then we're gonna pull through right okay then we're back to our knit stitches so we're gonna pull through the bottom to get to the top See that? It still looks like a jumbled mess. So we're gonna get there, I promise. <laughs> okay. Okay, now we're 
we're going to pull through the top to get to the bottom with these purl stitches. Just got to find your little hole there is all. stitch just pull it through okay then we're back to our knit stitches and we're gonna pull through to the top remember okay and we're at the last one on the row We're going to pull through. And then we're going to make our new row. starting to take shape of what this is going to look like. You see that? How pretty that is. So it's knit, knit, purl, purl, knit, knit, purl, purl, knit, knit. And when, once we get to the finished product, you'll see the design is very, very pretty. It's more compact than the other video that I showed. So it could be that at some point you may want to get two skeins to go across a little bit further. Um, and I would just double the, the, um, the amount. So if we did 10, just do 20. Or if you want it to be just a little bit longer, you just have to remember your multiples and you could just write it out if you wanted. So you could write on a piece of paper because you're going to have to start with a knit and end with a knit for it to look right. So. You just write out knit, knit, purl, purl, knit, knit, purl, purl, knit, knit, purl, purl, knit, knit. So you know it's going to be 14 across to make your blanket. Okay, so I'm now on my last row. So what I'm going to do is time for us to bind off. I'm going to show you a different method this time from in my last video. In the last video, when we bind off, there was a definite top or a definite bottom to the blanket. This time it's going to be a different way. It will kind of match this a little bit better, the other end. So we're gonna turn it over. This was our last knit. So we're gonna pull through and we're gonna make this one a little bit bigger because it's gonna go over this one, right? See that? So we've got this loop here it's like the beginning of our row. Oops, I missed one. Glad I saw that. <laughs> it can be difficult. Okay, so we're gonna go over this one here. We're gonna have both of them just like that. So you see the hole there? And we're gonna pull through the whole thing. Okay, so we're gonna make this a little bit bigger. Make sure we got our next one. And there's the hole. We're going to go like that. And we're going to pull through. Same thing. And we're just going to do this all the way across. Pull it over. And then pull through. The reason we needed to make that one kind of big was so to be a little bit looser. So when um, so it doesn't pull too much on the the end here. The other ones can be a little bit smaller as we go across. As you see, I'm cutting it very close. 
with the end here. I'm going to count my stitches up and tell you how many I have because if you knit kind of loosely, then you might want to do one less row up than I did. And I'm on my last one here. Okay, and then I'm going to just take that hole and just pull through here. Okay. See, now this would have been on the other side if we had done it on this side. And I wanted it to look a little different this time than the last blanket. So now we're just going to take our ends. Oh, that's so pretty. Now we're just going to take our ends and tuck them in. And we can actually cut these a little bit shorter too. They don't have to be this long. So I'm going to tighten that part up a little bit. And then I'm just going to go through and hide it. I'm going to hide it right here and my bar is going up. And remember, you'd never leave a newborn sitting in this, laying in this by itself. You would always make sure there was some sort of supervision. This is just for a photography prop, not for them to actually sleep in, sleep with, right? Just that off. Do this side here. This is so chunky, you know, you can, as long as it's hidden. You know, you just figure out where the back is. You can hide it and um, nobody will see where you put it. Okay. And then just cut off the excess there. And now I'll count how many we have. So this is where we started. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven up. And then this is where we cast off. So if you knit kind of loosely, I would do less than that. But that's where we've ended with. So this blanket measures. 14 by 16 and so we used one skein of the sleepy sky showstopper um we did 10 across and 11 up so it's almost kind of a square type blanket here um so i would probably recommend to go maybe across like i said in the beginning a little bit more I don't know, it just depends on what your 
what you're wanting to do with these blankets. But this is the new pattern. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to get more cheap ways of having photo newborn photography props for your photography business. For those that are just starting out, I know how hard it can be to get all the props that you need. It's rather daunting to look on Etsy and find these selling for, you know, 40 and 50 bucks. Um, and, and they're totally worth it. The people that make these, they, they work very hard to make them beautiful. But um, this is a cheap and easy way to make it yourself and look very professional.